Good morning, third grade. It is a beautiful, sunny and hot day once again. And here we're gonna review some measurements. I asked you today to finish a page that we had worked on a long time ago. And part of that process was for you to use the ruler to measure your foot. So we're gonna start with that so I can show you my foot and I had you step on the ruler so you could see the measurement of your foot. Now my foot is not 12 inches. In fact, if I really measured closely, it's a little bit over nine inches, but I'm just gonna say that it's nine inches because we are not going to be using those tiny little lines to measure our feet. We just are gonna notice that they're there. Now, if you wanted to write how many lines over your measurement is, you could say nine inches and one line. Nine and one. So my foot went over just by this one little line here. Now let's measure some other things. Let's measure this tiny little mass matchbox. It is starting at the beginning of the ruler, exactly two inches. So I could write that down, matchbox, two inches. And here is a box for a puzzle and it is not quite 10 inches. You can see here's the ending of the box. It's just shy of 10 inches by the tiniest bit. In fact, if we push it all the way over, we could say it's exactly 10 inches. So I don't have to approximate this measurement. This box is 10 inches long. Now we're gonna look at my pencil box. Now my pencil box, I've got it pressed against the end, is not exact. You can see that there's a couple lines over 10 inches, but I'm gonna call it 10 inches. It's about the same size as this box. And I can feel when I put my fingers on the end of the box that, of pencils that, that I can feel the box underneath for the puzzle, the puzzle box. So there we go. That is using approximation to write down the measurement of something instead of using the little lines. You can say, once again, 10 and one or two lines, whatever the number of lines are after the 10. And you might notice something about the lines in between these inch measurements, between nine and 10 and eight and nine. There, something you might notice from your last exploration if you did that math warm up a while ago. You might notice something about the way this ruler works. This is an inch ruler. Some of your rulers might have lines on this side as well, and that's the metric side, most likely. So I'm just using inches because that's what we learned about to begin with at the beginning of the year. And we will learn a little bit more about the metric version of measurement after we explore a little more measurement in inches and feet and yards. All right, have a beautiful day, third grade.